Skiing the Pacific Northwest demands an appreciation for storms that seem like they'll never break. And the dedication to being there when they do. These mountains don't just breed a different kind of skier, they breed whole generations of them. Take Ingrid Backstrom and her brother Arnie. One of the first dates their parents went on was to go skiing at a place called Crystal Mountain. Skiing was definitely a big thing. Friday afternoon, and packed up the car, and off we went. Actually, it wasn't a car at the beginning. It was a pretty crappy camper. Tyler Sicante sees a bit of family history just riding the lifts here. His dad's a local legend who cut his own run a few decades back with nothing but a buddy and a chainsaw. so much as the Cascade Mountains are around Mount Rainier. And there's no better view of the most prominent mountain in the lower 48 than from the top of Crystal Mountain. It's the best when you roll up the top of the lift and there's that mountain right there, you know, just looming in the distance. I know a lot of people kind of consider it sacred or they hold a, you know, special place in their heart for it because it's you know kind of the, the pinnacle of things crystal mountain
David Sacante's generation was ripping around here in the 70s, the skis were skinny and the goggles optional. For Tyler's generation, the skier is measured by the depth of his goggle tan. When I was younger, role models definitely were my dad, of course. Once I got better, that was my whole thing, was just I wanted to ski with him, and I wanted to ski with all his friends because they were so much faster and could ski anything that I wanted to do that too, just to keep up and go rip with them. that I went down a certain run or having your first kind of exploratory runs by yourself with your friends around different spots and kind of coming full circle. It's just great to see all the familiar faces that are still here ripping it up and um, lots of new ones as well. Plenty has changed around here since the Baxters were camping in the parking lot and the Sacantes were making blades. But it's funny how one big storm can come through and make everything seem the same as it ever was. Everywhere has just been bottomless, great snowpack, and you can just pretty much huck anything. This is sick, though.